Before we start, just take a quick look at this cute and functional kids room setup, part wardrobe, part shelf, part cozy sitting area. Hey everyone, welcome back to Nice Tower, the channel where we turn design ideas into beautiful sketchup projects. If you love architecture, modeling and learning new creative tricks, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and keeps me motivated to make more tutorials like this. Alright, so let's jump in and design it together. Let's start by drawing a rectangle at 3000 by 3500 millimeters. This will be our base. Now I copy uh, a line from the side at distance of 1040 millimeters. Uh, take a copy of the surface and group everything. Then I paste the copied piece back in place and now push it 500 millimeters deep. And next, from this line, I copy another one at 100 millimeters away and from the side another 20 millimeters. Doing the same on the other side. And from the bottom, I copy one more line. 50 millimeters up. Now I take an offset of uh, 5 millimeters and remove the lower line we don't need. From this line, uh, I copy one 600 millimeters up. Then draw a vertical line through the middle. I copy the surface again, uh, group it and paste it back. Then I turn it into a component and extrude it by 20 millimeters. After that, I copy another line at uh, 200 millimeters away and do the same for the next two parts. Once all lines are ready, I delete the unnecessary ones. Now I draw curves on these uh, sections to give them a softer, friendlier shape. I take an offset of uh, 10 millimeters, then push this linear area 60 millimeters inward. Next, I draw a line here, and from the middle of this surface, create a half circle. I delete one side of the circle and extrude it 20 millimeters forward. On the surface, I use a 1001 bit plugin to create vertical panel lines and using the same dimensions I usually apply. Once that's done, I take a copy in opposite direction to mirror it. And now from this line, I copy 600 millimeters up uh, up again and take another surface copy, paste it and group it. From the top, I copy a line uh, 100 millimeters down, and uh, from the bottom, 50 millimeters up. Then I take an offset of 60 millimeters and from that line I copy at 600 millimeters, another 60 millimeters. Take 
take another copy at 200 millimeters. 600. And now 450 millimeters. And again 450 millimeters. And then from the side I draw a vertical line at 200 millimeters. Slakes. And take a copy at 60 millimeters. And again, I mark 200 millimeters from this edge and draw a vertical line. Also for here. Now slide all these lines and copy them again by 60 millimeters. From the surface I copy another one uh, 200 millimeters away. Once all guys are ready, I clean up the extra lines. Also, delete these lines. Also, delete these lines. Now I push the inter shape uh, 500 millimeters deep. It's done. And now can. Uh, I take another copy of this section, paste in place and group it again. Now from the top I copy a line of 100 millimeters down and from the bottom 50 millimeters up. Then from the side, I copy 20 millimeters and take one more from the opposite side. From the bottom, I copy 500 millimeters up. And now from the top edge, I mark uh, 150 millimeters, then 900 millimeters, and draw an arch uh, connecting them. Now I add one more line here and copy it 20 millimeters away. Let the extra lines. And all these sections are now extruded 500 millimeters. Also this. And this. I extrude this part uh, 350 millimeters. And now using the divide option, I split this section into three parts. Draw lines and copy each one five millimeters apart.
On this surface, I again use 1000 one bit plugin to make a small panel detail. I enter first 7 70 millimeters 20 millimeters then 70 millimeters again 80 millimeters and then it creates neat and simple divisions that looks perfect for kids furniture now it's time to bring it to life For the main body, I use a soft uh, natural uh, material, something light and clean. For the center section, I go with blue to give it a playful and youthful touch. The shells also get the same blue color. But for the top, uh, I switch back to the base material for contrast. The panels are blue again and for the rest of the surfaces, I keep the main texture. It looks better. For the lower parts, also get the same blue tone. Everything ties together beautifully. Now let's take a look at the final design. After adding a few decorative objects, maybe some books, toys, and a few cozy cushions. And here it's a clean, functional, and cheerful kids' room wall that combines storage, shelves, and a comfy sitting spot all in one design. I love how the blue accents make it feel fun but still tidy and modern. If you enjoyed this design, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below what kind of room you want to need to see next. Maybe a steady area, a bank bed design, or something else creative. Thanks for watching, nice tower, and I'll see you in the next one.